How to hide your chicken so assholes don't take the last chicken breast on you. <laughs> yeah. And then your last bit of veggies underneath the onions. Success. Look at this, slowly converting into a powerlifting gym. This chalk isn't ours, this is like the designated gym chalk now. So we've got that out of the way, got an actual designated gym chalk. Deadlift platform's already got a designated barbell all covered up in chalk. We haven't even used it yet. It's pretty sick. Got like everybody in the place on Candido's program. Got this kid over here, Dylan, who's like champion powerlifter of the 101 pound class. <laughs> what are you, 140? What is the weight class? 140? 144. 144? And your total was roughly like 18,000 pounds, right? <laughs> yeah, around that. <laughs> no, not even kidding. He, he actually had a nasty total in that weight class. I don't remember what it was. Where's young Daniel at? Yo. Oh, power lifter coach of the Special Olympics. Game changer. Oh, yeah. Just want to get the game changer on camera. <laughs> Not even you, JK. <laughs> you, you're in, you're in prep. You coach Special Olympics power lifting. You're in the video with me, but you also, you're in prep for your own competition right now? Yeah, um, not for sure. I'm definitely going to cut down and get shredded, though, but I might, might do a show. We'll see. Hell yeah. So. Right on, brother. Awesome. I'll be there. Yeah. Such a refreshing wait. Hey, did any of you guys catch the season premiere of American Horror Story? Woo, that clown is sick. Olympus Iron and I had a good-ass night with it. We, he got some good high-grade quality bourbon and some game changes. It was an awesome event. But yeah, that show is so nuts. Anywho, 320 pounds is on the menu today, doing four sets of eight reps. That's some high volume for myself. But the weight is light enough where I can actually take advantage of it and give my beltless squats a little run. Now, beltless squatting is really beneficial and it will cross over nicely into your belted squat uh, when you squat beltless obviously you don't have the benefit of the belt wrapped around your midsection when a belt around your midsection what you're supposed to do is breathe deep into your stomach expand your ab walls against the belt and that compression all the air in your stomach pushing hard against that belt it's going to cause compression and that's going to force your torso upright so basically the belt will help you remain upright and generate a lot of power but when you remove the belt now it's up to your abdominal muscles it's up to your core as a whole to really work hard and hold hold your body upright because that barbell obviously wants to bring it downwards towards the floor. It's also going to cause you to use your abdominal walls a lot more in simply holding the air into your stomach because now you have nothing to compress that air against. So training your core and your abs to become really strong and keeping your body upright and taking in air without the compression of a belt will carry over nicely to when you finally do put on a belt. And I recommend everybody does practice wearing a belt on their heavier sets. You simply will not be able to get the most out of your squat without a belt. There's not one lifter who's maxed out some world record on the squat and then can't do more with a belt. So practice wearing a belt too because it is its own skill. Training beltless is also potentially safer because when you have a belt on and the weight starts feeling really heavy, you can then default into like a good morning position and kind of grind the weight up. But of course, that can lead to injury. Whereas when you don't have a belt on, you really can't go into too much of a good morning stance because your core simply can't support that. You'll end up buckling and you'll probably just drop the weight if the weight's heavy enough. So it kind of forces you to either maintain proper stance or not at all, which is always a plus. What's insane to think about is the fact that not too long ago, I remember uploading a video in which I performed one single maximum rep set on the squats with 320 pounds. And I might have gotten like 10 reps out of it, but that was it. It was one all-out max effort set of maximum reps, and I got like 10, wearing a belt and everything. You know, and you fast forward just a few months later, and I'm able to do that same exact weight for all four sets, all eight reps per set, clean and easy, and beltless. Like, it's crazy just to see your progression sometimes, and it doesn't only show up in the form of a one rep max. It can show in more discrete ways like day-to-day -day training. So today we're doing just lightweight deadlifts since we already did our heavy deadlifts this week. 370, two sets of eight. 
The only reason I'm even wearing a belt for this was just because I was so fatigued from all the high volume stuff that I just wanted to eradicate any risk of my form slipping and causing injury this close to a meet. Whoa, what did we just get? We so, got vanilla macchiatos with soy milk and whipped cream. Why do we get soy milk, Ariana? Because I have dairy allergies and problems, and if I have dairy, I feel like I'm gonna die. And I just got it because I tasted hers, and I was like, wow, that's amazing, Baby, what is you that? you every time I get one. Yeah. I always ask if you want something, and you're like, no, and then you get mine, and then you're like, what is These that? These are only 230 calories. Granted, they're pretty much all sugar, but today's my high carb day anyway. And I also haven't eaten anything, and I need energy for work. Yeah, so. Pretty damn good, this little post-workout Starbucks. Since we don't have time for Chipotle today. Look at the fall. It's it's starting to become fall colors now. Look how pretty it is. The leaves are all falling. King of the fall. Fun fact that you guys know we're in East Greenwich, home of Ocean State Health and Fitness Gym. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the real location where Ronnie Coleman trained, as you can see across the street there. That is Ronnie Coleman's, <laughs> it's Ronnie Coleman's actual house. <laughs> gains, guys, gains. Yeah. 